Here we are at Gateway Motorsports Park, and we've caught up with the boss, IndyCar CEO Mark Miles. Mark, you've been all, you've had a lot going on this week. First and foremost, the schedule. You announced a four-year return to Texas Motor Speedway. I know that at one time that looked like it was going to be a bit of a challenge. How did that all work out? Well, it did work out, and we're delighted. And I think uh, Eddie Gossage and TMS is, uh, is excited. They've been on the circuit a long time. They've done a great job for us, and we're looking forward to being back. Um, you know, we'd had an agreement that I think was maybe three years in duration, and it had come to uh, its term. And so we just had to renegotiate another one, but uh, we're happy it got done. I know one of the keys to that was the exclusivity clause that uh, Texas Motor Speedway had had for a while. You were able to get them to uh, relinquish that for a little bit in exchange for some other incentives from IndyCar. How can you explain how all that works? Well, I don't know that I want to get into the details of the agreement, but one of the issues that needed to be sorted out uh, was that in the past they had had a geographic exclusivity clause that said that in a big area, all of Texas and then some, IndyCar would not run another race. And we just, uh, that was something we wanted to work through. So the rest of the schedule you say will be announced at the end of September and how are things looking uh, in regard to filling out? How many more spots do you need to fill out? Really only one um, and we're close on that. So. I still believe we'll be able to uh, make the whole schedule public at the moment. Will that be uh, the one spot missing be an older? Don't know yet. Would you like it to be an older? Um, you know, we feel like we got. It's important to us to have the continued diversity of tracks, and ovals are part of our heritage. But uh, what we think. At this point is that the most robust, most exciting event we can have, with the best crowds and all that, is probably the paramount issue. And also, we're back at Gateway Motorsports Park for the second year. I know this is becoming a real highlight of the season for IndyCar. How, uh, do, how do you look at the second race here at Gateway Motorsports Park in terms of how important it is to IndyCar? Well, it, it was fantastic last year. By all indications, it's going to be fantastic uh, tonight. And uh, it's an exciting venue, a short oval in a great city, great market. So it matters a lot to us. And just like last year, we've just been incredibly impressed by the owner of the track and his title sponsor, Bob Marino Automotive Group. So kudos to those guys for doing a fabulous job. And of course, one of the big storylines the last couple of months has been McLaren, possible McLaren entry in IndyCar in 2019. With Fernando Alonso, what can you tell us where things stand at the moment regarding that? Only that it, uh, as far as I know, it's still work in progress. That McLaren is trying to figure out if they can put all the ingredients together to have a full-time program next year, and uh, we sure hope they can. And of course, this week has been one where we've, uh, you know, kind of held our breath a little bit and hope for the best for Robert Wickens. Uh, as far as the IndyCar series is concerned, it looks like the the car and the tub really helped protect him from making it worse than it could have been. And the offense at Pocono Raceway did its job in keeping everything inside of the track. From your viewpoint, what are your thoughts at the moment regarding that crash and uh, what can be done in the future to maybe, you know, minimize uh, any more such episodes? Well, whenever the subject comes up, the, the, the thing that absolutely fills your mind and your heart is worried about Robert and so uh, everybody here is thinking about him and hoping that uh, he has a full recovery and that it, uh, it goes very well for him. It's hard to get to anything after that but I do think that changes that were made in this uh, aero kit which definitely pro provided enhanced strength and protection for drivers particularly on the side pods uh, were important and uh, as you say the feds kept uh, uh, kept the uh, crash inside the track, so um, we're just very, very, um, it's hard to talk about, um, Robbie, anytime there's a serious crash like that, your heart's kind of broken, and hopefully he'll be back very soon. And I'm sure you're very proud of the way the IndyCar community has rallied around Robbie, he's going to run a decal tonight, 
you know, wishing them the best of luck, and everybody stepped up to try to help in their own way. How proud are you to see how the, you know, this is really a tight-knit family in many ways. It really is a family, and um, it's interesting because there's such hard-nosed competitors uh, day in and day out, race after race. But man, they care about each other, and I think it's true, you know, any, every driver can see that, that they take chances in a, in a dangerous sport, too, and it's really fabulous to see how much they care for each other. IndyCar CEO Mark Miles, thank you for joining us here at Auto Week. Thank you.